what in your opinion is a a good gap there like is it is it easy to on a podcast to explain like if you type in something and you only and you see videos that don't aren't relevant or or um is there a certain metrics to look at to so uh, it looks like i might have found a gap let's place a video here to see how it does um i don't know if there's enough time on this call to tell like exactly how to do that but here are some guidelines that i would look for if you're typing in things and you're hitting space and you get to the end where it's not auto completing anymore and you you search that on youtube and see what comes up something that you can look at is the amount of views on that video because if you go all the way down that line and hit enter and all 10 of the videos that are on there the top 10 don't have more than say 100 views it might not even be worth your time to create that video because not enough people are interested in that topic okay. period okay. but the flip side could also be true if you type in like how to start an amazon business and you hit enter and each one of those videos has a hundred thousand two hundred a million and you know most of your views only get 100 it's going to be very difficult to put a video there now mm -hmm. you want to shoot somewhere in between that each niche each industry each thing is a little different so it's going to take a little bit of time if you do this for a week you should understand like oh most views in this amazon space have a million views i'm going to have a hard time getting any of my videos to rank here i have to niche down into mm -hmm. amazon fba or amazon research or amazon tools and then just try to start building something there where there's a lot less yeah. competition and then you'll know once you start testing videos you'll see oh i can rank here and I can get on the first page of how to start an Amazon business FBA in Canada. This is kind of my space. And then mm. inside there, there's going to be a bunch of questions, how to ship from Canada, how to ship to Canada. How... Yeah. You'll see a lot of those because then you can look at their competition too and see like, hey, this guy has 100,000 views. What other videos does he have? And then you can start pulling from that and say, mm. oh, I should also do these videos That's because there's good. a large gap here where there's one other person and I can also put my two cents into this. It's not just one authority and that's the authority forever. YouTube is looking for the best person to answer that question. When you find that there's just like three people in there answering most of those mm -hmm. questions, you can throw your hat into the ring and then sometimes yeah. gather a lot of views. Because for me, when I research something, like say I want it, like when I was fixing the pool pump, how to fix the pool pump, I'm not mm -hmm. just watching one video. I'm gonna watch like four or five of those videos. So you're all getting the same view because it's one person yeah. going in and watching all those. Then the one that yeah. I connect with the most, go deeper with him. But yeah. me might connect somebody with different than Ryan. Ryan might like somebody that goes, you know how to fix a pool pump? Call the pool person, don't touch it. <laughs> and that's the advice I should have took, but I did it. I was foolish enough to go, I can figure this out. Now I regret it. Cause I was like, I should just call, call the nice man, come fix it. This is not my specialty. I should be out there trying yeah. to figure out a pool pump. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, man.